Each subsequent regeneration was then filmed in a variety of different ways, as dictated by the director on that particular episode. Indeed, no two regenerations were particularly similar until the Russell T. Davies era. Only BBC Wales Doctor Who attempted to standardise the way regeneration looked. With the parting of the ways came what is now the standard, golden glow explosion. Although the colour of the explosion is fiery orange in the parting of the ways and is milky white in Utopia, as well as rudimentary version of the effect appearing in TV, The Curse of Fatal Death. The subsequent Children in Need special established that there was residual, regeneration energy, after a transformation which had to be expelled through the mouth. This was seen again in The Christmas Invasion, The Eleventh Hour and The Doctor's Daughter, though the latter narrative never made quite clear that Jenny had actually regenerated. Davies later gave the restoration as a narrative explanation why the Doctor's regenerations are now golden in Doctor Who and the Time War. This visual standardization has allowed narratives to play around with regeneration. The mere presence of regeneration energy can now be used to heighten dramatic tension. This visual shortcut, unavailable to production teams in the classic era, has been a particular favorite of Stephen Moffat, who used the Golden Glow liberally throughout the 2011 series. In fact, Unlike in the Russell T. Davies era, in which nearly every regeneration had subtle differences, every Moffat era regeneration until TV, the time of the Doctor is nearly identical. Several of the 2011 episodes used that VFX in a way that wordlessly suggested regeneration. The standardized visual effect style carried into Staz Johnson's art for the 2017 comic story Doorway to Hell, which featured the master pre-parting of the ways and utopia starting to regenerate. Colorist James Offrady also colored the glow in golden shades similar to what was shown in the Russell T. Davies and Stephen Moffat eras.